Hey, what's going on guys? Minikusai7b here. Welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Crystal. This time, we're gonna have to go through the Spell Sprout Tower. The rest of it, anyway. And then we're gonna try to take on Faulkner. That's probably what we're gonna do, do here in this episode here today. Unfor we have a new member of our team. You can see the fan beat on the icon down there. That's who we have. Sway like leaves in the wind. Return the slab. All right, Edmund, you gonna send out another plant thing at, at me? Go ahead. I have a Donnie, which I am not gonna send into battle because, what am I, a maniac? Nah. I'm a pyromaniac, of course. I wanna see the whole place burn. Okay, I really can't do that because one, I don't have Ember, and two, that would be arson. And I go to jail for that, so let's not do that. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So I'll just I'll just tackle the. While well, you can just smack your leaves with me, you know, at my face. So far, so far, so good on uh, Cyndaquil's accuracy because, <laughs> yeah, we missed a few times in a row. A 95% accurate move, like three times in a row. That's incredible. I think that's like a 1 in 800 chance of missing three t three tackles in a row. Because it's 90, it's 1 in 20 chance of you missing. Then, you, then another 1 in 20 would be 1 in 400. Wait, no. One in, yeah, that would be. <laughs> I'm gonna do- I'm gonna do- I'm gonna do the math again. I think- I think it might be- It, let's just say the chances are pretty low. That was rather embarrassing, to tell you the truth. Yes, you are, but that's okay. Wait, was there something else there? Or no? No, okay. We found a potion, which is great. So we're gonna deal with more bell sprouts. I trained to find enlightenment in Pokemon. Okay, Sage Jin sends out a Bell Spell Sprout. How many more Bell Sprouts do I have to deal with? Oh boy, it's level six actually, and our Bambi's level six. So let's swap that out. Three HP. Oh boy, that's a lot of damn. That's a lot of damage. How about a little more? All right, that time it did two. So I guess that's a low. That's a, that was a low roll that time. Stop slapping my my uh, Cyndaquil with your leaves. It won't work. All right, we're to level seven, which is nice. Seijin has been defeated. Next, you. The Elder's HM lights even pitch black darkness. Sure. Um, Sage Neil. You too have a bell sprout. That's probably level six. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta swap out. Must tackle the plant. Oh, that was a good hit. Ooh. Just in case of a crit, I'm gonna have to uh, heal up the next one. Oh, well, there's a crit there, but that's not what the that's not the point. It's in my head that is bright. Yeah, let's go uh heal this up. Let me see how much you trust your Pokemon. Well, maybe not Bampy against your Bellsprout. <laughs> I don't trust that, I don't think. 
Sage Troy! So now a level 7 one, oh boy. Ah, let's swap out. I just want to say this now, we are two levels ahead of the uh, Aces Pokemon anyway. For uh, just Sing Cyndaquil. I usually am not in favor of, of overleveling. It's kind of hard to do when you want to take make sure all your Pokemon are the same level. But you're in a pretty bad environment for said Pokemon you're leveling up. And you have rules in place, for your own sake, of not having the chance to switch. Level 12. Thank you for learning Ember. Now we can actually cook. For real. What? All that for a hoot hoot? Um, um, um. Yeah, all, all those was bell sprouts, and all of a sudden, oh, let's change it up a little bit and throw, throw hooters over here. Um, no, we're, we're just gonna, we're just gonna, you know, let Pyromaniac just, uh, cook this owl. Oh yeah, you identified my uh, thing. Nice. Foresight, I believe, in the later gens. I'm not sure if it is in this gen or not. You can actually uh, hit ghost types with normal and fighting type moves now, if you use Foresight. Yes, your trust is real. No shit! Oh. Uh-oh, we lit the thing on fire. Oh, it's this guy. <laughs> You're a deed skilled trader. As promised, here's your HM. Let me say this, you should treat your Pokémon better. The way you battle is far too harsh. Pokémon are not tools of war. <laughs> he claims to be the Elder, but he's weak. Stands to reason. I never lose to fools who babble about being nice to Pokémon. I only care about strong Pokémon that can win. I really couldn't care less about weak Pokémon. He, he, that's what I named him, Shadow. <laughs> I, that's right, I gave him the Shadow the Hedgehog voice. That's right, I did. <laughs> oh yeah, we have an escape rope we can actually just use next time now. You. So good of you to come here. Sprout Tower is a place of training. People and Pokemon test their bonds to build a bright future together. I am the final test. Allow me to check the ties between you and your Pokemon. Sage Lee, send out Bellsprout. Eh, eh, eh. All right, thanks for the free free XP. Oh, well, that's cute. That's the first I've heard that noise in a while. Level 8, beautiful scenes. We sent out an owl. That's level 10. Oh, that's level 10. That, that's higher than the Aces Pokemon, by the way. Just spam Ember. That's all we're gonna do is spam Ember. And we get a burnable switch. No, we don't. <laughs> I will never be ta clicking tackle again unless I absolutely have to. <laughs> because of that reasoning. Level 13, beautiful scenes. We have another bell sprout. It's also level 7. And this will be an easy one hit KO. See, it looks like uh, Donnie has some catching up to do, it looks like. Sage Lee was defeated. Excellent. You and your Pokemon should have no problem using this move. Flash! Do not teach this on any Pokemon. Unless you're an HM person. Flash illuminates even the darkest of all places, but to use it, you have a value. You need to get the badge from Violet's Gym. Well, 
Time to use the uh the, the escape rope. Cause I don't feel like climbing down this whole this whole tower. Spin! Alrighty! Next up we gotta do is heal up our Pokemon and just get on with our way with 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 um Can I not run into a wall? And can I not pass the Pokemon Center? That'd be great. And just take on Faulkner. That's what we're gonna do now. It was nice to see Sh Shadow the uh, Pokemon Trainer again. I really don't know what came about me for even giving them the Shadow the Hedgehog voice. I just... It just came naturally, I guess. So here's the gym! Ain't this fun? The gym's right here, and the music's a little different. This guy's here too. Hey, I'm no trainer, but I can give some advice. Believe me, if you believe a championship dream could come true. You believe? Then listen. The grass type is weak against a flying type. Keep this in mind. Let me see if you're good enough to face Faulkner. Boy, I'm good enough to face on anybody, you uh, mohawk bird keeper guy. Oh look, it's one of the Pokemon I used in my previous playthrough for a little while. And yet you have the same level as the Aces, Aces Pokemon trainer, unless I'm, unless I'm completely wrong this entire time. Yeah, Tackle ain't gonna do nothing. Time to switch. All right, let's see. Let's hope we can cook this uh, Spearow, which we did with a critical hit. Nice. This can't be true. Of course, you have to believe. The key word is guts. Those here are training night and day to become bird Pokemon masters. Come on, show me your moves. All right, we have Captain Falcon over here, who doesn't have any sort of falcon, but it had said he has a Pidgey. We have to do something w with you, Donnie. We have to. We gotta defeat one Pokemon with you. No free rides, you know what I'm saying? Oh my, all these tackles. We can't miss one. Oh my lord, a critical hit. Please do not miss this tackle. Thank you for not being like your brother. <laughs> Good god, man. Good god, man, please. Obviously, we're gonna heal up our other other Pokemon by the time you know this battle's over. Why did I click on tackle? Beautiful scenes. We're to level nine, and you learn defense curl, which we really. Don't want to use that much. Gah! So right here is Faulkner, but we're gonna be we're gonna go back to the Pokemon Center real quick. So we're gonna have these nice, one awesome transitions once again, like so. Ba bam! See, nice and tr nice and transitional. As proof of me healing up my Pokemon, there we go. We're oh, we're a bit over level, but that's okay. I'm Faulkner, the Violet Pokemon's gym leader. People say you can clip flying-type Pokémon's wings with a jolt of electricity. I won't allow such insults to bird Pokémon. I'll show you the real power of the magnificent bird Pokémon. I mean, I would have gotten a Mareep and just had make that my third Pokémon, but here's the problem. You can't get it in Pokémon Crystal. You can get it in Gold and Silver, but not Crystal. I love this game. <laughs> in case you haven't noticed. But thankfully, I thankfully I played. I got I got on my Heart Gold Soul Silver playthrough all those years ago. Having having rollout would be great, by the way. Oh, you missed tackle twice. <laughs> no. 
<laughs> no way. They should do like three. Okay, that's fine. We could easily defeat a level seven Pidgey, which is kind of funny how the Aces Pokemon is going to be a level nine. Just trying to see how long I get it last with the uh, Dot Vampy anyway. All right, not bad. Here's the other Pokemon, a Pidgeotto. The evolved form of Pidgey. Also, he's hacking, by the way. He has an underlevel Pokemon that should not be evolving. Now Gus is a flying type move, so this will hurt a little bit better. Oh wow, this will do literally nothing to it. <laughs> well, let's see how long we can we can uh, we can last. That does five each time. Just chip it down a little bit more. Maybe just use a growl as well while we're at it before we just uh, say goodbye. Yeah, you'll you'll. This will be like one of the only times you'll ever see me use growl on anything. All right, now we switch because I don't want a crit to happen. I, I called it! That's how you know I've been playing this game for too long. That is how you know I've been playing this game for far too long. <laughs> oh my gosh. Calling the crit shots. That's how you know I've been playing this, this pole Pokemon series for too long, man. Almost level 14. Darn, my dad's cherished bird Pokemon. I hate to break it to you, I don't think your dad loved you very much. I think he's still out there getting the milk for you. It's the official Pokemon League Zephyr Badge. Zephyr Badge raises the attack power of Pokemon. It also enables Pokemon to use Flash if they have it at any time. Here, take this too. TM31, which is Mudslap, actually. By using a TM, Pokemon will instantly learn a new move. Think before you, before you act. A TM can be used only once. That is until Gen 5! It reduces the enemy's accuracy while it causes damage. In other words, it's both defensive and offensive. Right away before we end the episode... We're gonna, we're gonna use Mud Slap. This will probably be the only stab attack for Dottie for a while. <laughs> for a while! <laughs> for a while! Ain't that swell. Oh my gosh. Cause I won't be able to learn Earthquake for a long time. I, I will tell you, a long time. Alright, what do you got, buddy? Hello, Nick. We discovered something about the egg. My assistant is at the Pokemon Center in Violet City. Could you talk to him? Uh, fine. We'll go to the Pokemon Center before we end the episode. You there. Nick, long time no see. Professor Elm asked me to find you. He has another favor to ask. Would you take the Pokemon egg? We discovered that a Pokemon will not hatch until it grows in the egg. It also has to be with other active Pokemon to hatch. Nick, you're the only person we can rely on. Please call Professor Elm when the egg hatches. I'll explain more in depth about, like, breeding and stuff at another time, but beforehand, before we end the episode, let's just heal the Pokémon. I mean, for some reason, the egg also gets it gets healed up too, which is weird. I think they I think they fixed that in the other gens. Well, that'll be it for this episode anyway. If, if you liked the video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. It helps out the channel quite a bit. We're almost at 700 subscribers, and we'll see you guys in the next one on Pokemon Crystal.